WBO super middleweight King Joe Calzaghe was facing fierce media criticism after some mediocre performances in the year 2000. A feared contender Omar Shaker promised to rip the title away from the Welshman when they clashed in London. They've whipped themselves into the best shape of their lives for this. It's for the world title, but it means more. Calzaghe has not reached the dizzy heights since dismantling Chris Eubank in 97 and badly needs a devastating knockout here. Father trainer Enzo says it's not for boxing, the critics or the family, but for Joe, a personal crusade. Bitter words exchanged between the two of them all week. Chica has waited three times this fight has been postponed. He must now prove that he is not just a hyped up creation. Both in black trunks, confusing for you, but Calzaghe, the southpaw, the taller man with the red waistband with his name on. Well, we all want to see a devastating victory for Joe Calzaghe, but we're not in too much of a hurry. We want him to take his time, don't do anything silly, don't play to the crowd. We want to see the knockout, but we want to see a good performance first and nothing silly. Make good use of the southpaw jab confuse this guy for a couple of rounds. He's already working on that left hook. That was what decked Eubank in the very first round. He's getting back to his jab. He looks composed and steady. Calzaghe. And working effectively at the minute. Sheik has got to get to him. He's got to make use of the, the, the advantage of being a good southpaw, good technical skilled southpaw. So nothing silly. Just keep getting outside Shaker's jab for a round or so. Just confuse him and start to frustrate him, then come in with the powerful stuff. Slightly slower start than normal for Calzaghe, who pounced on David Starry before having to go 12 rounds in his last performance. A negative, disappointing display on the Mike Tyson, Julius Francis undercard. Working that left side. Oh, his strength, the left hook, a slight mark underneath his left eye, Calzaghe. Shaker trying to get in close with the right hand. Good left, straight jab from Calzaghe. Shaker showed a good chin up to now, but Calzaghe may have that extra power. This is the best I've seen Calzaghe in a long time. The most aggressive. I felt Shaker's style would suit him, and that's how it's shaping up, although it's early days at the moment. Calzaghe knew that Shaker would come to fight. He would not have to go looking for him like he did Rick Thornbury and David Starry in his last couple. Well, Shaker come in confident, but maybe there's been a little dent in that confidence with a couple of straight lefts Calzaghe's landed. Good skills, good start from Calzaghe. Definitely his round. Here's the second, the 12 stone world championship belt up for grabs. Joe Calzaghe, the southpaw from Newbridge in Wales, at 28, desperately trying to get his career up and rolling again against the American from Patterson, New Jersey, Omar Shika, who's had all the treatment that Mike Tyson had early on in his career with backers Bill Caton and Steve Locke. He was trained by Kevin Rooney. He's had Emmanuel Stewart in his corner. They can't be with him tonight. Will he need them anyway? Chica was complaining to the referee then, because Aggie holding, hitting, but it's always a good sign when your opponent looks to the referee this early in the fight. A little psychological edge. Chica's had an air of confidence about him all week, and he seems to me a little phased already in there. Tries to come back with rights of his own, but Calzaghe has the more impressive shots, the accurate work. He has been wobbled before Sheikah, he's been in Britain. Paul Wesley, the one-time challenger, now journeyman fighter from Birmingham, really hurt him with the right hand. And he had early trouble getting through against Tops Owo, one of our leading super middleweights as well. Beaten only one Sheikah by Tony Boo in what his camp called a robbery on points. He's having difficulty dealing with the variety 
of Calzaghe here. Beautiful boxing. It's also the sharpness of Calzaghe. This is the sharpest I've seen him. He's making full use of the, of the southpaw stance. She can't, cannot work it out. Frank Warren read the riot act to Calzaghe after his last couple of performances. Said he must get away from his hometown in Newbridge. He did that to train in Chesant. Well, he sparred with, among others, Toxa Woe. No excuses this time. Was that round the back of the head? Yes, says referee Gennaro yeah, Rodriguez. The, the, the Sheik has fought, and I think the referee's telling him that he contributed to that by turning away. Sheik is all disjointed, he can't get any moves working here. He's trying wild swings, he just can't work out Calzaghe's southpaw stands, and the sharpness has given him real problems. He's trying to work Calzaghe's body, but he's not getting near enough. And he looks a worried man, the American, at the minute. He's trying to open Calzaghe up into a bit of trench warfare, but the Welsh fighter's not falling for that. Well, I think he realises his single shots are not working. He's trying to put punches uh, in threes and fours, but he's taking so many chances and doing that. Well, this is the Joe Calzaghe we were all waiting to see. Straight jabs working for Calzaghe as well. He's trained 10 weeks for this. He was really nervous at the weigh-in yesterday, which probably is a good sign. I haven't seen him like that in a while. Now that's how you're supposed to be uh, probably the biggest fight of your life, if you like. I mean, he's running out of chances to impress the Americans, but fighting like this will impress them. Shaker's is trying to stand and brawl. Is that a good idea? Not with the accuracy of Calzaghe tonight. Well, the thing is, it's not working boxing at long range, so he has to try to draw Kilzag into a fight. So, OK, maybe it's not working either, but he has to try something else. He can't stand off and try to outbox Kilzag, because too sharp for him tonight. He can hit Chica. 13 of his 20 victims inside the distance. He blew away a chap called Bert Bogos in only 31 seconds. I saw that on tape and it was very, very fast and hard. But Calzaghe has always had a good chin. He took the best that Robin Reed could offer. And as Nigel Ben was saying in the studio, the best that Chris Eubank could. And we know what a fighter Eubank was. Yeah, well, as I said in, in the build up, I thought maybe the one with the better chin that will decide this. I still feel that. And I still feel that it's Joe Calzaghe. Never been stopped, Chica, but will he just be worn down by the. Continual persistence of Calzaghe. His very fast hands. And his natural strength. Burned down to make the weight. In so many recent performances, talk of him going up to light heavy at 12 7. Calzaghe. Take a pound and a half off yesterday before the weigh in. He's physically stronger. What Sheikha got to do? Just try and get to him and break his rhythm. Yep, that, that's exactly what it has to do. Calzaghe has been controlling the pace, controlling the action. So Sheikha has to change that, has to take the initiative a little bit more. Has to try to back him up, but that's not easy. As they get closer together, it reminds me of the times Calzaghe doesn't like that against the Staries and the Thornberries. He enjoys his space and movement. He is a good boxer, a good technical boxer, so he does like room to, to work. But I'm just worried in case he was blowing heavily at the end of the, the previous round. I don't want to start thinking this fight could go 12 rounds, have to conserve energy and start dropping the pace and let this fellow back into the fight. He has to maintain this pace. Occasionally, too, he's been his worst enemy. Galzaghi saying that he would knock out Rick Thornbury and destroy David Starry. He did neither. He said he will knock out Omar Shika. It's pressure to put on oneself. Shika just taking a deep breath there, feeling the weight of some of these shots. And Calzaghi's speed, when he has the room, is devastating. I just think he's naturally stronger than Shika. Certainly has a better chin. Red just around the left eye of Omar Shika. He just looks a bit puffy and confused. 
with the style. Enzo Calzaghi, Joe's father and Ernie Fossey in the corner saying, use the uppercut. He's been working well up close with the left hand. He's kind of holding with the right, maybe slightly fouling, but it's working well for him. His left hand up close is working exceptionally well. There it goes again. And Chica starting to look a little bit unsteady on his legs. Throwing the hooks that are his great shots, but not to any effect at the minute. We knew he's come to fight and he is doing that. But he is not in Calzaghi's lead, certainly not over the first ball. The scorecards just being collated. Calzaghi so far, it's been a punch perfect performance. And Chica has looked dazed and confused. The American who charges in again. 23-year-old, having waited for his big opportunity. He's really going for it now, trying to pin Calzaghi in the corner. But Calzaghi wobbles him with the left hand. Chica comes back. Tremendous action here at Wembley. This may be a last throw of the dice from Omar Chica. And it's good to see Kozagi blazing back with him, not trying to hold, not trying to outbox, get away from it. Standing his ground and trading. That's the real choke cho Kozagi we're seeing tonight. A brilliant blend of styles. The aggressive orthodox puncher and the slick southpaw mover, who's just been too accurate and too composed. Can Shika break the space down? A problem with this right cheek as well. He's just dabbing. He's complaining about a head clash. Omar Shika. He's got cuts on both sides of his face. He dabs at the right. It's do or die for him now in there. Trying to draw Kalzaghi in. His left eye looks like it's worsened a little bit, Adam. Bleeding again. Yes. His face is becoming a bloody mess as Calzaghi rakes out those fast right jabs and following left hands. Well, we wanted a good display from Joe Calzaghi, and this is what it is. Credit where credit's due, and what a brawl in the fifth. Both going for it, tremendous spirit from Shaker, but a left wobbles in, and I think the referee's going to see two more of this. Calzaghi really going for broke. And it's been stopped, it's over! What a win for Joe Calzaghi, a brilliant performance, and father and son elated on the canvas. His 29th win, Joe Calzaghi is back. And how pleased personally would he be from that? Look at his face, look at his reaction. 24 months of hell, all gone. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and eight seconds of round five, the referee stops the contest. Omar Shaker having sustained a very badly damaged left eye. The winner and a still WBO super middleweight champion of the world, Joe. That was 2000 and a gutsy Omar Shaker's do or die attitude produced a return to form for Joe Calzaghi, whose windmill-like attack sliced and diced his rival and silenced his critics, whilst notching up defence number six of his WBO belt.